welcome to another video. So today I'm going to talk about how I use all my technology as a visually impaired person. So this video is not going to be really too long. This is just going to be a basic overview on how I navigate my stuff whenever, whenever I need to. So just to clarify, this is um, this is not ever this doesn't represent everybody in the blind community. We all use our everyday modern technology um, differently. So this is just my experience and what I know and how I use my devices. So you guys all know I'm legally blind. Um, so you guys know I have some vision in my left eye, completely blind in my right eye. Um, so I do have an, I have my iPad right here. So I do have enough vision to uh, look at it when I'm uh, navigating on it. So I really don't need to use voiceover. Only when I really need it. So, um, I just need the print large. So yeah. Oh, before I do, so uh, voiceover, um, you can either go in your access settings under accessibility. You can, the voiceover is at the very top um, in the accessibility settings and you can turn it on or off. You could also like go in there to like change your text to whatever color contrast you want or you can make it bold text, big, large, etc. Um, you could also, I think adjust, the, no, display and brightness is different. Um, that's a different setting. Um, so yeah, let's, um, but to make it easier, you can also use, uh, just say like Siri, like voiceover on or something. Oh, it didn't speak to me. <laughs> I'll just tell Siri to do just that. Voiceover on. Okay, let's start voiceover on. Charge card to the left. Photo booth. Double tap to open. So like every app you can, uh, it just said double tap to open. Um, that clicking you're hearing, I'm just trying to adjust the volume. Um, so like everything that's um, on the screen, it is highlighted with a square around it. I have enough vision to see that, plus my wallpaper's color contrast is good too. Um, it's, also the, it's also the same on my iPhone, so we really don't need to uh, show that. That's what I'm recording. That's why I record my videos on where it's sitting on my tripod right in front of me on my desk. Um, so yeah. So like, um, I could scroll anywhere, anywhere on the screen and it'll just uh, speak to me. Shortcuts, iTunes store, tips, game only vision, Apple store, loading, in iCloud. Dump page to look to, Dendra, over, transit. Double tap to open. So that's where you can swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value. That's basically to like once I swipe up or down, it'll move it to the next page. Page two of two, page two of two, page one of two. There we go. Page oh, that was at the other page. So swiping down down well will make it go back to the previous page. Swiping it up will make it go towards the next page. Page one of two. Adjustable. Page two of two. Page one of two. Camera. Double tap to open. So basically like I have to double tap to open to open any app really. And it'll tell me what's under my finger. So I'll double tap to open. Zero camera. Zero people. Viewfinder. Focus unlock. Image. Double tap to focus. Viewfinder. Focus lock. Image. Viewfinder. Focus lock. Zero people. I guess it's like trying to find like light and stuff whenever, or like trying to focus, but my iPad case is blocking it, so it's just like a black screen. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the voiceover off and uh, just close the app. Voiceover off. Okay. Voiceover is now off. Okay. Lens. Camera. Active. Swipe up with three fingers to close the app. Actions that's, available. Let's swipe up with three fingers to close the app. Like exit out of the app to like, like just swipe up to close every app that I have open with voiceover. So I just do it, um, I just do it visually because as I said before, I don't really use voiceover when I'm using my iPad or, or my phone. So I'll swipe up with three fingers to close. Add one of two, Top app switcher. Voiceover off. Okay. 
and I just put it back to the app that I was on before. Um, I do have a computer, um, but but I use it only for um, just work related stuff, like just stuff, like, just the important stuff. I zoom in to make stuff bigger. It has a touch screen too, so that's convenient. I made the color contrast better with my uh, arrow, like the, the cursor that's on the screen where like it points at stuff for you to click. Um, I made it bigger so that way I can see it because like I always like I'm always like constantly moving my head around the screen like trying to find the arrow and, and that's annoying. I don't think there's anything else um, to really tell you guys about like this just really just gives you an overview on how I how blind or visually impaired people use um, some other technology. Again this is just my experience my opinion and how I use my own devices. So um, I do use voiceover sometimes when maybe if my vision is bad or if I really don't want to look at something and my eye hurts and it's uh, like maybe if I have like a headache or something. Just hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Comment, like, and subscribe and that'll be it. See you guys in the next video. Bye.